Hey YouTube! Welcome to a Pokemon top five Pokemon Fire types. I have no idea I even talk about so yeah. Remember these three guys, these are my opinions on what I think are like my top five fire types. I actually love the fire typing, it's one of my favorite types out there. If I could, I'd build a whole type. Remember, all the stats and the things from Pokemon DB are all accurate from there. So don't believe me if you think the stats are I got them that side. The link will be in the description below. Apart from that, let's just get on with this top 5. So coming in at number 5 is a 6 gen Pokemon, which is Talonflame. I love Talonflame, I love this design, I love the fact that it's an eagle, man. It is a fire eagle. What sets parts this Pokemon from? Other native Pokemon like Starly and Swallow and Pidgeot and that. it doesn't have the final movements of like Staraptor, Unpheasant, Swallow, etc. Pidgeot. It doesn't have the normal type of typing, normal flying. Which I absolutely love. It sets it means it is a new unique thing. It doesn't have that flying no thing. It's a fire flying Pokemon, which I absolutely love it. It's a great real spacity tackling. If you get a flame body on there, it's main ability you can get hit by it, and you get a flame fire a burn off. Oh, it's gonna be and then it also gets Gale Wings, which gives priority to flying type moves. It's hidden ability, so it's like a lot of flying type and Pokemon on there. Goes on to it, and it's gonna collect as well as everything else. Coming up at number four, we have Torkoal. I absolutely love Torkoal. Torkoal is probably my favorite. It's not my favorite, but it is probably my favorite Pokemon from Helen. Overall. It is a bulky little tortoise thing. And if this Pokemon got a Mega Evolution, oh my gosh, this thing would be <laughs> a monster. It will play a major rising defense. Possibly a special attack or uh, if it gets beaten all its attacks, then oh my gosh, this thing is a bulky ass monster. It already has a bulky thing. This would be so mean. I actually love its design, I love it. It's not really common in use, but when you see me you're like, whoa, I don't like this, I hate you. Especially if it has overheat and a track, and it's just, oh my gosh. Lannery is Toko. Kicks butt. It kicks ass. It does. I have seen love it. Um, that's why it's known for. I love its design. It's my favorite. One of my favorite Pokemon from Halloween, and I can't wait to see it again in Pokemon the Real Sapphire. And I do kind of hope it gets a Mega Evolution because it's one Pokemon that I think it deserves a Mega Evolution. Because why not? So, coming in at number three, we have Arcanine. Arcanine is, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. One of my first fire type Pokemon I actually had on when it first appeared. When it was a growl if it's so cute and it's amazing. In <laughs> the description, it the X and Y is Pokemon description is that it when it barks, people can't visit can cannot resist to it and bow to it. This is so <laughs> amazing. It starts to pretty great and pretty mean there. Um again this Pokemon I potentially could have a Mega Evolution, along with Ninetales. If it does, then GG Game Break. Oh my gosh, yes. Coming up at number 2 is Charizard. I absolutely love Charizard. I... Oh, you can't understand. It is a Salamander thing. Mmm, that's amazing. Charm, Million, Charm, God, and, and it is, of course, it has Mega Evolution. I love Charizard for what it is, even if it's Smash, and I love it. Charizard is just amazing for it. When it comes to Mega Evolution, the design for Charizard X, oh my gosh, yes, despite losing its flying type, it does blow a giant and it's got a button earthquake. 
so we will take a half like food or paddling. It's that just pushing between the two legs X and Y is pretty decent. I prefer X more for the design. However, the we hit getting a tough clutch you can get at least more damage with the dragon or the health. On the Pokemon Charizard Y though, its special attack is mainly boosted and it also gets the fire boost moves attack from the drought, so really like attack or something else. I don't know, out of my Charizard Y I have attacked because it has been quite effective in this game and we're just going to keep moving off that after we get a small little boost and keep moving, etc. And I absolutely love it. I love the both designs. Look at this freaking wingspan. It can, it doesn't lose its own typings. It just, it's flying fire. It, I'm glad it can things, but compared to her X, my lord, the design. I love the book that gets dragon type. Yeah, fully fetched dragon. Uh, but, other two minus I actually love Charizard and overall I love Charizard. And now we come on to the two number one. Yep. I have no doubt about it. My favorite Gen 2 starter final version is Typhoid. Typhoid will forever be my favorite. It is amazing. And oh my gosh. You can get a power herb. Solar Beam of this thing, and it will take out the Philologator. This thing can withstand. I have battled quite and it has survived. I just absolutely have a love it design. And you can get you in big one in Jono. Jono? Yep, I'm Jono. I mean, I know ours is coming up. So, well, in the originals, will they pick a Jono starter? So, after completing the whole index, you would be able to get a journal starter. And so, potentially, these guys could still get megas. I hope they do give them some dresses. Give them, like, their hidden bills. I really hope the game could release journal starters' hidden abilities. Because I really want a flash fire. In the grill. Oh, she of course for alligator, but I have seen a lot of them. I have used one since generation two, and it's just so amazing. And everything else. Apart from that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this top five fire types. Remember, these are my own opinions, and you can find the stats and distributions at PokemonBeast.com. Oh, uh, the link is in the description anyway. So, thank you guys for watching. Peace out, guys. And I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye!